Now let's add some more bones uh, to support some of the facial features. So we can take our network here and we can go back to uh, way back to the skeleton here and if we want to we can make changes and the key here is to show how changes can be made um, spacebar B spacebar B uh, to the skeleton at this early stage here and have that still uh, go through so we're going to go freehand again uh, create we're going to click on the joint near the mouth and add two joints uh, down the middle there middle click to stop um, then we're going to modify uh, and that will allow us to tweak uh, those we use child compensate um, tweak mode and we can name these so the first node we're going to call jaw and the second one we're going to call the lower mouth underscore mouth great and we can move that right into this sort of the center there Now, if we wanted to at this point, we could set the bone to form up here. Um, and what we, it goes through the biharmonic, so it gets recalculated the weighting at this point. Um, and then what we can do is we can do go to the rig pose and say, oh, yeah, we have some new joints there. So we, let's just grab the jaw joint, for instance. And yes, we can work with that. Don't worry about what it's doing to the teeth. We'll deal with the teeth a little bit later in a slightly different way. Uh, but for now, what you see is you can add joints and they will work with the procedural nodes to update the, the, the weights. So the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to go back, spacebar B, spacebar B to the side here, and we want to do the eye. Now it turns out there's three parts to the eye. There's the two eyelids and the eyeball. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower the head so it lines up with the center of the eyeball. And we're going to add three joints, uh, one for each of those. So we're going to go click from here, uh, let's get closer. Click from the head. And we need to be in create mode, sorry. Click from the head, and then we're going to go find the exact center of the eyeball. And click that, middle click to... And then we're going to go and call that the, in modify mode, the eyeball. So that's one of the joints that we're going to add here. The second thing is we're going to go create, middle click. We're going to go from the head, just out, we'll go there, middle click, and we'll do it again, once above and once below. So we're going to end up having three joints that are more or less going to be in the same place, but they're going to serve different purposes. So we're going to take this joint, we'll call this the upper lid, and we're going to call this joint the lower lid. There we go. Now what we really want is all of them to be in the same spot. So we can just take that and move that up to there so it's in the same spot. Make sure that's centered on the eyeball. Yeah, that's centered on the eyeball. And then we'll grab the last one and put that there. Now later we're going to add some handles to make it easier to select each of these joints individually or manipulate them individually. But for now, uh, for practical purposes, they need to all be in the same place get in close and get them to work there. So once we have that in place, we've now got many of the joints that we need uh, to ultimately rig up this character. Now if we go back here to display this and then we go to do rig pose, spacebar B, spacebar B, um, if we go to do rig pose, we're not really going to manipulate the eyeball or the other ones uh, directly like this. They're going to need a little more rigging to, to effectively work with, um, but they are there and you can find them. So if you click on here, you can see there's three of them there. You can actually click and make a selection of one of them if you wanted to.